Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn this tin can into this very cool hobo candle holder. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody that we do teach survival and bushcraft training skills here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. You can find the information at www.waypointsurvival.com. Those classes begin in April and they are already filling up pretty fast, so if you're interested in taking a class from us this year, I would encourage you to go there and check out the information. Now let's get on with the video. To make this project, you're going to need just a few simple things. Obviously for a lot of people, a pair of leather gloves, a pair of needle nose snips, a candle, a large nail, 16 penny nail will work fine, and then an old can, and I did use a safety can opener to reduce the risk of cutting myself on these sharp edges. The first thing you want to do is you want to put a hole in the very center of this part of the can. As you can see, it's got this nice little rounded area here pressed in, and so we're going to use that and this is very easy to punch in. I just use these and uh, just like that. Makes a nice little hole right in the center. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to make an X using that hole. Okay, just like that. So we've made an X using that center hole as our guide to get into the center with the snips and cut it out. Next we take the pliers and we begin to push in these tabs all the way around. Just like this. Now if you get them in too far, if you get them in too far you can always reach inside either with your gloves or with the pliers and you can move these tabs back into place. Okay, we've got that done and now the candle is going to go in and fit really tight. It is a one-way fit so you push it in to the desired depth so if it's a long candle it'll hang out the bottom a little bit more. If it's a shorter candle like this it won't stick out quite as far from the bottom. Next, using the snips we want to cut this can into a total of eight slots. So start here, the other one will go exactly on the opposite side and we'll do the same thing. I'll do that all the way around and I'll get back with you. Ideally when you're cutting this you want your cuts to go all the way down to this bottom ribbed section here depending on how the can is made. That's hard to do at first but as you get it opened and the can begins to spread you'll be able to get the snips in there and finish off those cuts just like that all the way around makes it a lot easier so you can get to it much more simply. When you're finished you'll have something that looks like this. Now what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to bend this tab down like this every other one. Just take your time with this. If you need to recut some of it you can. But we're only bending down every other one. Alright, and this is what we have. Now we go ahead and put a small curve in this, like so. Bend each one of these out. This is going to form a stable base. Like this. And then the very bottom, this tab gets bent out to form a foot. Like that. And you can use this section here as a guide where you want to bend that. can do a test on it, see how it fits, adjust it and bend it as appropriate to make sure that it sets level and that's the base. Next we take the top and I remove the gloves, my hands are pretty tough, I don't normally cut myself doing this. But you want to bend these in like this, bend each one of them in starting at the bottom like this 
You want to over bend them a little bit. And then you want to bend it back out at the top. And that helps to form the top of the candle holder. Gives a little bit of a flare and also a little bit of wind protection as the candle burns down. And all of this can be adjusted and rebent depending on your wishes and likes. Once you get all of that bent and adjusted and your feet regulated to the right height, because uh, this is adjustable, if you have an uneven surface, you can bend these legs in or out to make it sit right. Then you want to insert the candle, push it right up through there to whatever height you desire. And again, these act a little bit as a windproof candle holder. This helps shield it from the wind. Then you simply light it. And there you go. There's your tin can hobo candle holder. It's very easy to make. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. Simple tools, very simple skills. I think it looks pretty neat. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the more button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.